Newton teachers. They were on the picket line today as they strike for better wages. But tonight, a judge is ruling that they need to be back in class by Monday. NBC 10's Michael Rosenfield is breaking down that ruling and the reaction from the teachers' union. He joins us live now. Michael. JC, tonight I spoke with the teachers' union. They tell me that some progress was made today during negotiations, but so far, no deal has been reached. What do we want? Hundreds of teachers and staff on the picket line Friday while negotiations between the Newton Teachers Union and the Newton School Committee rolled on on this day one of the teachers' strike. I am feeling cold, <laughs> um, frustrated, um, sad. Um, I did not expect to be here today. The union telling us some progress was made during negotiations on Friday, especially on the issue of parental leave. Don't want to be here. Definitely want to be in my classroom with my students. But I know that this is important. Both sides have been negotiating on a number of issues, particularly compensation. After months with no contract, the teachers voted to go on strike, leading to school being canceled on Friday. The judge in the case ordered the teachers on Friday to end the strike by Sunday at 3 p.m. and go back to work on Monday. We deeply value education. We care about our children. And we love our teachers. Our teachers, all of us are committed to a competitive salaries and a sustainable budget. The union telling us Friday night it realizes that strikes come with disruption, but we believe the short-term disruption is worth it to secure a continued educational excellence. So if the teachers don't go back to work on Monday, the teachers' union has been ordered to be in court Monday at noon. Ivan Newton tonight, Michael Rosenfield, NBC 10 Boston. All right.